If you are a regular Twitter user, it is very likely that you've seen those funky ape images floating all over. Heck, you don't even need to be involved in the NFT space to have seen them at least once in the past couple months. So what are these bored ape digital images that have been selling for hundreds and thousands of dollars, and in some cases, even for over a million dollars? From influencers such as Logan Paul and KSI, to mainstream celebrities like Justin Bieber and Serena Williams, everyone seems to be joining the club. We bet you're confused, but don't worry. In today's video, we will be looking into the Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs, how they got so popular, and what the future holds. So, let's begin. What exactly is the Bored Ape Yacht Club? The Bored Ape Yacht Club is a collection of 10,000 non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, styled as apes created on the Ethereum blockchain. They take inspiration from NFT projects like CryptoPunks, where each NFT looks totally unique and individual, but still follows a similar baseline. Line. Each ape has a different rarity depending on what the ape is wearing, doing, and its background. Yep, we're talking about those cool sunglasses those apes have been rocking. But of course, as the name suggests, they're all still apes. The project was founded by Yuga Labs' four founders, Gargamel, Gordon Goner, Emperor Tomato Ketchup, and No Sass. Weird names, right? Well, the founders go by pseudonyms for their own personal reasons. Since its initial launch, BAYC has created many new lines of NFTs. This includes NFT upgrades and an exclusive club for Bored Ape Yacht Club holders. These developments have kept up an interest in the project, leading to incredible sales prices like $3.4 million for an NFT at Sotheby's. For those who don't know, Sotheby's is one of the world's largest brokers of fine and decorative art, jewelry, and collectibles. So for all those that say that NFTs are technically not real collectibles, even the largest art distributor in the world has started getting involved. Before we go further, please hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy this type of content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Now, let's continue. All of these NFTs are displayed on OpenSea, the main platform where NFTs are Traded. On any given NFT's page, its properties will be listed as well as the percentage of NFTs in the collection that share the property. So, one digital image may be less valuable than another, depending on how many attributes it shares with others of its type. Usually, anything under 1% is considered rare. For example, there is one ape that has a solid gold fur trait. Of the 10,000 apes, only 46 have this property, meaning that they're highly valuable. And as a result, they would also have to be expensive. One of these sold in January 2022 for $1.3 million, and then another with gold fur and laser eyes, two sub 1% traits, was bought for $3 million. What makes Board Ape Yacht Club valuable? We'd say that this is the most difficult question to answer. You know how they say that beauty lies in the eye of the beholder? Well, that saying applies perfectly to this situation. But let's start at the beginning so that we can see the club's upward trajectory. Board Ape Yacht Club was launched in late April 2021 by a team of four developers. It took 12 hours for all 10,000 to sell out at a price of 0.08 Ether, or around $190 each. The price then grew steadily from April to July before rocketing upward in August. As we said before, what makes BAYC or any other NFT collection valuable is almost entirely subjective. But to sum it up, it's a mix of three things, influencer or celebrity involvement, utilities for members, and community strength. The first point is pretty obvious, and is also probably the reason you clicked on this video. When famous people own an NFT, it makes others want to own one too. A great example is Jimmy Fallon. The Tonight Show host bought a BAYC on the 8th of November 2021 for $145,000, probably a small amount for the millionaire. Anyway, for weeks after this, he used it as his Twitter profile picture, where he boasts almost 50 million followers. That brought a wave of hype and sales, which is reflected in the sales volume and price reports of the club. The second point is utility. Most NFT projects claim to offer a utility of some sort, be it access to play to earn games or the option to stake an NFT in exchange for an associated cryptocurrency. Another highly valuable collection known as Cyber Kongs earned attention for allowing owners of two Kongs to breed a baby Kong NFT. Maybe not the best kind of attention, but hey, all publicity is good publicity, right? Board 8 Yacht Club has done a few things to keep 
owners interested. First, it created the Board Ape Kennel Club, offering owners the opportunity to adopt a dog NFT with traits that mimic those of the Board Apes. Another freebie was introduced in August. This was the Digital Vials of Mutant Serum. Owners could mix their Board Ape with the serum to create a Mutant Ape NFT. And people being as weird as they are in the past few weeks, the Mutant Ape Yacht Club collection has blown up. The floor price has risen from around 4 Ether in November to 20 Ether, which is equivalent to $60,000. And last, but certainly not least, is the community that built around a collection. Board Ape Yacht Club has organized meetups in New York and California, and there even have been Board Ape get-togethers in Hong Kong and the UK. These guys are definitely hustling. In November 2021, a weekend of festivities for owners was held in New York, featuring an actual yacht party and a concert that featured appearances from Chris Rock, Aziz Ansari, and The Strokes. So it's safe to say that it really is a literal club. It is a well-known fact that there's a strong business aspect to developing a community. Art of any kind is worth only as much as people are willing to pay for it. In the case of an NFT collection, the floor price is essentially equal to what the least invested members are willing to sell for. People believing they're holding a token into a community results in fewer people listing their apes for sale. Selling your ape isn't just selling an NFT, but acts as a community pass too. Plus, once the collection reaches a certain level in value, it becomes a status symbol. People in the cryptocurrency and NFT space use profile pictures for Twitter, Discord, and other platforms like chief executives wear expensive watches. You can download a JPEG of a bored ape just like you can wear a luxury watch knockoff. But in either case, those that have the eye will know real from fake. Who are the all-star owners of the Board Ape Yacht Club? So we've been going on and on about these influential people that are part of the club, but who exactly are they? Some of the most famous members are Eminem, Mark Cuba, Stephen Curry, Neymar, The Chainsmokers, Kevin Hart, Paris Hilton, and Post Malone. And trust us when we say this list goes on and on and on. The future. The Board Ape Yacht Club is slowly expanding out of NFTs and becoming an off-chain brand. This means that they eventually want to exist independently of the blockchain. They are also trying to integrate themselves into fashion. Adidas launched its first NFT project into the metaverse in collaboration with several NFT brands and BAYC was the most prominent one among them. Adidas also bought a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT which is now displayed on the brand's Twitter page. What's even more interesting is what people are doing with their apes. Owning a Board Ape NFT gives you full commercial rights to it and holders are taking advantage of that in some very creative ways. One such owner set up a Twitter account for his ape where he created a backstory and named him Jenkins, a valet that works for the Yacht Club. Jenkins was recently signed to a real world agency and is in the process of writing his own autobiography. And with that, today's video comes to a close. So by now, you might either think that NFTs are silly, or we might have converted you to the trend. Do you think the Board Ape Yacht Club will continue making waves in the NFT space, or will the hype eventually die down? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.